Hey guys, official Fun Rebel here, and I'm going to be showing you how to root any Samsung Galaxy S3 running 4.1.2, 4.1.1, or Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.4, so any firmware, any Samsung Galaxy S3. The only device that this will be slightly different for is the Verizon version, which I will be showing you how to do. You just have to unlock the bootloader, but that's the only variation in this entire process. It's very simple. I know how confusing it can be, so I wanted to bring it all together into one video to make sure you can get the easiest possible route. Now, this will not install any kind of custom recovery. This will just install Super SU on your device, ensuring that your device is rooted and able to install any sort of custom recovery or root only program. Now, most of you guys will only need to download one thing, and that will be the CF Auto Root. And it will have to be specifically for your device. There will be a website, and all of the links, of course, will be down below in the description. But I will take you to this website right here, the link, and you need to go ahead and select your device. So for me, it was the i535, the Verizon version, and select file right here for the download link. So once you do get your CF auto root file for your specified device. You want to extract it inside. There will be Odin 3 and the CF auto root file. Now, because I do have a Verizon Galaxy S3, I have two additional files, the boot chain files that I do have to flash to unlock my bootloader. But most of you guys will not have to do that because you do not have Verizon. So just ignore that part. But go ahead and open up Odin. And you don't want to separate it from the .ini file because it won't work if you do. But Go ahead and open it up. Now in the developer settings on your device, you wanna make sure USB debugging is enabled and that's absolutely crucial for this to work. Now we need to put your device into download mode. So with your device off, hold the volume down, the home and the power button all at the same time and keep holding it until your device goes into download mode. You'll see this and then press volume up and then go ahead and plug in the micro USB cable. Now with your device in download mode, go ahead and select PDA, but before I do that, because I have Verizon, I need to go ahead and select bootloader, go to my desktop where my bootchain files are, and select the VRALEC bootchain.tar.md5 file, select open, select start, and once that is done and it says reset, our device will restart, and again, this is only for Verizon users. Your device will restart and your bootloader will be unlocked, and that means you can go ahead and continue with the rest of this tutorial. But first, you do need to go ahead and put it into download mode once again. So power it off, hold volume, home, and power all at the same time, and once it's in download mode, connect it to Odin once again. With your device once again in download mode, we're gonna select PDA, and this is where the rest of you guys go ahead and begin your first step. You wanna go into your root folder and select the .tar file for the CF auto root. Select open, and with that inside, go ahead and select start. This is where the root will begin, and as long as you have unlocked your bootloader, everything will go smoothly. And in just a couple seconds, you'll see that on your device, the root will begin to take place. And you guys will see this custom icon at first. We're gonna go ahead and take care of that at the end by flashing the other boot chain file. If you are on Verizon, you'll see this screen. That means the root is successful. It's almost finished. We're almost done, you guys. You'll see the Android has been upgrading. If you go into your applications now, you will see that you do now have Super SU, which means you are rooted. But yeah, I'm now rooted. You guys are now rooted on the latest 4.1.2. I personally am on 4.1.1, but it does not matter. It works on any firmware. Now, for most of you, you guys are now done. Have a great day, enjoy your route. But for the Verizon users, you guys need to go ahead and enter download mode one last time. So power off your device and put it into download mode because we will be connecting it to Odin. And with your Verizon S3 in download mode one last time in Odin, go ahead and select bootloader and this time we're going to select the other boot chain file so depending on whether you have 4.1.1 or 4.1.2 there will be two different ones in the link but I have 4.1.1 so this is the one for me I'll open it and go ahead and select start so this will flash your boot chain file and you'll be set just as soon as your device reboots and you guys are now rooted on the latest Jelly Bean 4.1.2 or 4.1.1 firmware. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Do hope it helped. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video and leave a comment if you have any questions down below. So have a great day, guys. Enjoy your route. Peace.